here today and I cannot believe Valentine's Day is just around the corner. So as you can tell, you know, I dressed up a little bit for you today. Today's hair tutorial is going to be inspired by Valentine's. And today I'm going to be showing you how to do this really cool and beautiful flower made out of a braid. And personally, I don't really celebrate Valentine's Day. Well, I do, but not in a con conventional kind of way. Last year, what me and Alex did, is we just threw a party and invited family and friends, especially the single ones, because they're the ones you want to take care of on a day like this, you know? You, for me, I think Valentine's Day is more like celebration of love. So do I celebrate it? Yes, but not a conventional way where me and Alex have to get each other's presents. We don't do that. We don't even do that on our birthdays or Christmas or any other holidays. We think that romance is spontaneous, if that makes sense. So if, if you kind of have an expectation that on this certain day you're gonna get something, I don't know, it just doesn't do anything for us. So from, I think from the first year that we started dating, first or second year, we just kind of made this rule that we're gonna be romantic spontaneously, but not on certain days like let's say Valentine's Day. But anyways, regardless of that, I still like to dress up, you know, and I love the whole theme of hearts and love. I'm all into love, as you guys probably know by now. So for me, this day is quite special and I do like to dress up and make myself look pretty. And I would definitely suggest for you to do the same. Okay, so let's get into the tutorial. Forgive me for my little ramble. I just kind of wanted to share with you and chat a little bit because that's my only chance. All right, so let's begin. For this tutorial, you're gonna need a few very simple tools and that's gonna be bobby pins and a tiny, teeny, tiny hair elastic. And that's really it. I'm wearing my Luxie hair extensions and I kind of wave them into very soft waves, you know, barely their waves. You don't need to have wavy, straight or curly hair to do this hairstyle. I would, however, probably suggest wavy or curly just because I think it's gonna look pretty, but you can do it on any kind of hair. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you this um, braid flower on one side. Is it braid flower or flower braid? Flower braid? What do you guys like better? I don't know, I'll just call it braid flower and then I'll probably mess up and call, call it flower braid. So what I'm, I'm gonna show you this braid flower on one side, probably here, because it's gonna be the easiest for me to see what I'm doing and for you to see it as well. So what I'm gonna do is just let my bangs go because I like my side bangs in the face and then I'm gonna grab just a chunk of hair, just gonna brush through it with my hands and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start braiding but I won't start at the very roots. I'll start somewhere here, you know, maybe a few inches down the hair. And I'm gonna start just braiding normally, like a street, three strand braid. And I'm just gonna braid a few of them, but I'm not gonna go all the way down. I'll just do maybe, you know, one, two, three, four, five, I don't know, maybe seven or eight. And that's where I'm gonna stop. And then when I stop, I'm just gonna secure the ends with a hair elastic. All right, so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna pull up one section of this braid. So if you're braiding, it's a very simple rule. If you're braiding on your left side, you're gonna br uh, pull out the left side of the braid. And if you're braiding on your right side, you're gonna do the same thing on the right side of the braid. So I'm just gonna start from the top and I'm gonna just pull out just that left section, just like that. And go all the way down. So this is what you should have when you're done pulling the hair. As you can see, I just pulled it out on the left side. Some of them came out on the right, which is completely fine. Don't worry about it. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna put this section flat. And what I'm gonna start doing is, I'm gonna start twisting this braid around the middle of it. So that's where the trick lies, is that you just keep this braid flat and then you're just twisting the braid around it. And then as you're twisting it around into a circle, you will see that a flower appears. Ta-da! I don't know if you guys can see it yet, but what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna bobby pin this flower. That's a bit of a tricky part because what I need to do is just grab the bottom of that braid where I um, put the elastic, so I'm just gonna try to find it and catch it in there. Then I secure it, and then I'm just gonna go and look at it. And any part that's kind of sticking out, I'll try to catch with my bobby pin and pin that in place as well. 
All right, so once you've secured your braid flower or flower braid in place, this is what it's gonna look like. It is so pretty and it's so romantic and I absolutely love it. I think what you can do, I personally just like one because I don't want it to feel you know, overwhelming and you're having too many flowers in your hair. I think for Valentine's Day, I like something more classy and understated. But what you can do if you're going to a wedding or some other you know, formal occasion and glamorous occasion, what you can do is three of them in the back of your head. I think that's gonna look absolutely fantastic. But if it's just one, I think it's also very unexpected and it's very eye-catching. I don't know, I just absolutely love it. I saw a picture, on, where did I see it? Oh, not on Instagram, on Pinterest, and I fell in love with it. It was on blonde hair and it looked incredible, but I think even on dark hair is mine. You know, you can still see the, you know, the flower and all the intricate details. So that's really it, my beautiful friends. Thank you so much for tuning in. I want to wish you a happy love day. Whether you're single or not, doesn't really matter. I think you should celebrate because life is short and life is beautiful and we should take any chance to celebrate. Why not? <laughs> so make yourself beautiful, get out, smile at people, and just, you know, spend time with your loved ones. I don't think Valentine's Day should be just for couples. It's just for love. All right, enough rambling for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. I love you guys. Thank you so much. I don't wanna like kiss my hand and then I'll have a lipstick, so. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful day and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.